Welcome everybody at Rescue Tech. My name is Peter. This is Hessel. Uh, and I want to show you a few things about a new product group called Octopus. And Octopus is a project we basically tried to solve every rescue situation. These bags are the smallest. They have a lifting capacity of 23 tons. And they're easy to connect with a solid connector in the middle. Now put on the next. And just screw it on and I'm airtight. It's all fixed. Now what the biggest benefit is, is that I can follow wherever my load is going. Because the bags are connected in the center. You can see over here that when you're lifting, you always have an arc movement or something is floating. Now with these bags you can perfectly adapt. Now sometimes, if you don't have a flat surface on top, you have a point load or maybe an axe. We use a point load plate. So your benefit in this case is you have a small object which is very heavy, but all the force has been let into this plate. So you use all this surface area to lift with your square back. If you have a pointed load in here, you have a very small surface. So you will have very little force and your back will get damaged anyway. We can use this point load plate as well in combination with the cribbing blocks. The cribbing blocks are easy to be set on our point load plate and it's quite fixed. In combination with the airbags, it was a point load plate. But if we want to use it in combination with our struts or our hydraulic rams, it is a foot plate. When you're stabilizing with a strut, you always use a foot. And this is our swivel. So you can see over there, the strut is being set in the swivel, and the swivel has all degrees of freedom to rotate or move. And now, if you connect it with a base plate, you have an even bigger surface area. Yeah, so for instance, when you're in the soil or in the mud, no problem. This is our new strut. And it's a unique product because this strut will only go out and it will not go in. So it goes out and it blocks. Yeah? It doesn't go back. Unless I push the green button. Because you want your, your strut to follow your load. And wherever you are, you want it to be blocked. We have several heads to use on our struts. They're all very easy to click on and click off. We have our extensions, just as easy. Click it on, click it off, yeah? If you want to use your strut upside down, use the extension on top or at the bottom, it's all the same. This extension, for instance, I just use for the strut, we now use again for our hydraulic ram. And we just click it at the bottom. So now when I'm doing a dashboard roll, and I've, I've pushed all the way, end of my uh, capacity, put the extension at the bottom, and I can go on, yeah? But now, I can even use our foot. And now I have a 10 tons lifting device. Now if you have a, a need of a more bigger surface area, you can even use the base plane again. But maybe sometimes you want to push something away. Well, the swivel's got all the rotation freedom. Yeah, this way it goes 45 degrees. This way it goes all the way down. If I want to put it against the wall, no problem. Maybe against the tree, no problem. If there is no wall or tree, I can use earth nails to stick in the holes of the handles. And if there's nothing else, I can always attach my straps and secure my base plate. So there we go, we have a pushing force of 10 tons. I'm all the way down, putting it in position, pushing it against my object, it's stuck right away. And now I can give a little more force on the strut by turning its collar. Yeah, so now it's tight. Of course, we can also use it pneumatically from a safe distance. Now, what's very important is that we're gonna lift with our airbags. You can see the NT4. 
ND4 has a lifting capacity of 58 tons. The struts have a maximum load of 14 tons. Now what's important is that I'm going to lift with my airbags and I'm going to stabilize with my struts. So first I get a touch with my airbag. Yeah, I have a good touch, okay? Now what I'm going to do is put a little pressure inside the struts so they will always follow. And as you can see, the struts perfectly follow the load. And now when I stop, it's all blocked right away. There's no bouncing in it. Nothing happens. That's because the struts block at any height, anywhere at the stroke. So normally with your airbags, you would have a bouncing uh, stack. It's stuck right away. Now even Hessel is now letting out all the air of the airbags. And it's getting weaker and weaker. And of course the struts that take over all the load. But what maybe is even more important then lifting a load is lowering a load. When you're lowering a load, you always have to stand over here and turn some colors or sticking the pins in and out, in and out, in and out. But you don't want to be here. It's a dangerous place because if it collapses, you have a problem. So now we can work from the same distance. We have two different controllers. One is controlling the air struts, one is controlling the bags. Now, Hessel has been deep blocking our struts, and that works exactly the same as the green buttons on the strut. Now, if at any time something happens, I just let go the red buttons, and it blocks again. So now, again, he's still releasing air from the, from the bags, but the struts, they take over immediately. And that's what we want.